Egyptian state media is now reporting significant progress in talks over a Gaza ceasefire and hostage release deal. Delegations from Israel and Hamas are headed to Cairo for negotiations. Ben uh, Wedeman reports from Lebanon. The stage is set for a new round of talks in Cairo aimed at reaching some kind of ceasefire in Gaza. Given an additional sense of urgency by the U.S. following President Biden's Thursday phone call with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Biden urged Netanyahu to try and reach a deal. The Prime Minister already facing growing domestic demands to bring the hostages home. President Biden also urged Qatar and Egypt, the principal mediators in these talks, to pressure Hamas as well. The basic outlines of a deal have been on the table for months. That it, first, a ceasefire. Hamas wants a permanent one. Israel clearly looking for a temporary halt in hostilities. Second, an exchange of hostages held by Hamas for Palestinian prisoners and detainees in Israeli jails. What needs to be worked out is the ratio of Palestinians for every hostage. And finally, the return of hundreds of thousands of displaced Palestinians to their homes in northern Gaza, if that is, they have homes to return to. CIA Director William Burns is in Cairo, along with the Qatari foreign minister. The Hamas delegation is led by senior leader Khalil al Hayya. Israeli officials tell CNN their delegation to Cairo will have an expanded remit to negotiate the details, though the final decision still rests with the cabinet. Failure once more to reach an agreement will have deadly consequences. I'm Ben Wiedemann, CNN, reporting from Beirut.